Hi guys, so today we will try to solve word problem involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and whole numbers. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. So the first problem is a class of 40 pupils, two-fifths of them are boys, how many are girls? So meron tayong kabuoang bilang na 40 pupils, and then two-fifths of them are boys, and the question is how many are girls? So first step to solve this problem is we need to find out how many are boys. So what we need to do is multiply 40 pupils. 40 over 1, multiply by 2 fifth. Remember guys, na lahat ng whole numbers, ang denominator niyan ay laging 1. Kaya 40 over 1. And then, sa multiplication, this is very easy. All you have to do is multiply numerator sa numerator and denominator sa denominator. So, 40 um, times 2 equals 80 and then 1 times 5 equals 5 and then para malaman nyo ang value ng fraction we need to divide or it's always or the operation is always division so 80 divided by 5 equals 16 so meron tayong 16 boys ito yung two-fifth ng 40. So, how do we find out how many are girls? So, all we need to do is subtract 40 minus 16. So, 40 pupils minus 16 boys is equivalent to 24. So, that means we have 24 girls. Alright. So, next problem. We have Rene had 960 pesos. He spent one-third of his money on food. How much was left to him? So, si Rene daw ay merong 960 pesos. So, in, or in order to solve this problem, we need to find out how much was spent by Rene. So, 960 over 1, multiply by 1 third. So, again, numerator sa numerator, 960 multiplied by 1 is equivalent to 960. And then, 1 times 3 equals 3. And then we need to divide 960 divided by 3 is equivalent to 320. So, ang one third ng 960 is 320, which is the money that was spent by Rene. So, ito yung nagastos ni Rene, 9, 320 pesos. So, how much was left to him? Magkano na lang daw ang natira? So, all we need to do is subtract. So, 960 pesos, nakabuo ang pera ni Rene, minus 320, which is yung nagastos niya, is equivalent to 640 pesos. So, 640 ang natirang pera ni Rene. Okay? Next, we have Efren had 480 apples for sale. He sold three-fifths of them. How many were left? So, dito naman, meron tayong ang bilang na 480 apples. So, ang naibenta ni Efren ay 3 fifth ng 480. So, 480 multiply by 3 fifth. So, 480 times 3 is equivalent to 1,000.
440 and 1 times 5 equals to 5. And then 1440 divided by 5 is equivalent to 288. So, 288 ang nabentang apple ni Efren. So, how many were left? Ilan na lang daw ang natera? So, 480 apples minus 288 is equivalent to 192. So, 192 apples na lang yung natera. Okay? And lastly, yung last problem natin is find the product of 2 fifth and 3 fourth. So, this is very easy. All we need to do is multiply 2 fifth to 3 fourth. So, multiply the numerator to numerator. 2 times 3 equals 6. And 5 times 4 equals 20. And since this fraction can still be simplified, all we need to do is find the factors of 6 and the factors of 20 and apply the cancellation method. So, ang factors ng um, 6 would be 2 times 3. At ang factors ng 20 ay 2 times 10. So, ikakancel lang natin yung may parehong value at ang matitira ang ating simplified form. So, the product of 2 fifth and 3 fourths would be 3 tenths.